In the event that one of your legacy planks or tiles becomes damaged, it is easily repairable. Follow these simple instructions to replace a plank or tile. Score the top of the damaged plank or tile with a utility knife. Make two triangle cuts near the end joint and then connect the points with one long cut in the middle of the plank or tile. Use an awl or screwdriver to tap down through the plank or tile on the scored triangle cut points. Lift and remove the damaged tile. With the pattern side facing up on the new replacement plank or tile, trim off the short lip on the tongue side and the groove on the compression joint side, making it flush with the edge of the plank or tile. Be careful not to damage the finish surface of the tile. Cut several pieces of acrylic double face tape made for vinyl floors and slide under the edges of the existing floor on the two edges where the replacement plank or tile will have its lips cut off. Tape should face sticky side up. Leave the paper on the side facing down on the floor. Using IVC Flex Seam Premium Seam Bond or an approved secondary alternative, such as Taylor 2062, run a small bead of sealer on the groove edge of the planks or tiles on the existing floor where the replacement plank or tile that has the lips cut off will rest. Note. The long tongue of the replacement plank or tile and the uncut compression fit end joint will not need tape or seam adhesive as you will be using the plank or tile's locking mechanism. Install replacement plank or tile by sliding the long groove of the replacement plank or tile under the tongue of the floor until the finish edge of the replacement plank or tile is tight against the finish edge of the floor plank or tile and the compression end joint is lined up. Rotate down, locking the long tongue joint and roll the compression end joint to lock into place with a small hand roller. Wipe any excess sealer that comes to the surface of the tiles with a damp cloth and follow with a dry cloth to assure all sealer is removed from tile surface. Keep foot traffic off the replaced plank or tile for 24 hours. The manufacturer will not be held responsible for problems that may arise for approved secondary alternative seam sealers. Please contact the approved secondary alternative seam sealers manufacturer with issues.